With nearly a third of all Americans traveling for the holidays, meteorologists are now worried about what could be the nightmare after Christmas. Two new storms are moving in. We're going to get the forecast in a moment. But first, here's ABC's John Schriffen with the mess the weather is already creating. It's the Christmas trip turned travel nightmare for drivers on the east and west coast. In Northern California, with more snow expected to blanket the Sierra Mountains tonight, cars are having trouble just staying on the road. The roads are pretty bad. There's a lot of spin outs further east. There's definitely going to be chain control for the next two days at least going into Christmas. With warmer temperatures in the Bay Area, the pounding rain has been the big hazard. Near San Jose, this bad accident happened after one driver going too fast skidded across five lanes, crashing into the other. Believe it or not, police say no one was hurt. People are still driving fast, but you just got to watch out for them. I try to slow down a little bit and just kind of anticipate the worst of what other people may do when they hit puddles or something. And across the country in Syracuse, New York, plows are working overtime, dealing with two consecutive days of snow this weekend, leaving this car stuck with no place to go. The weather was bad. The winds were fierce. It was blowing the cars around. Uh, you could see even the semis were swerving. It's the city's first snowstorm of the season. Many are bracing for more to come. John Schriff and ABC News, New York. On the set with us tonight, Amy Fries, our meteorologist from our affiliate here in New York, WABC. So you've got three things you're looking at tonight. The first storm is for the Northeast, and this one looks more wet than white, but it still will give some folks a white Christmas. As it moves through Washington late tomorrow evening, it'll produce a little bit of uh, light snow. Mainly the snow stays in central Pennsylvania and central New York, one to three inches possible there. As it rolls along the I-95 corridor, it's mainly rain. If you're north of I-287, you may get a little dusting. And then you get severe weather in the south, Bruin. Yes, this is down in the Gulf, and the warm side could produce big thunderstorms, even isolated tornadoes. But the cold side of that storm, before it leaves Oklahoma City, could produce a white Christmas. But it's this third storm coming on shore in the west right now that is the real biggie. This is a monster. It'll be a high impact storm already moving onto the west coast, producing one to four inches of flooding rains for parts of California. Once it goes into the Sierras, we're talking feet of snow. Snow riders will be really happy about that. But as it pushes even further eastward over the Rockies, a lot of snow. So anyone traveling through the Rockies, places like Denver, could see several inches of snow. And it eventually gets to the northeast. Yes, by the middle of the week, it moves back into the northeast. And of course, that's going to have a ripple effect on travel for those trying to get home. So for people trying to get home or to get rid of their relatives, <laughs> it's going to be tricky. Some Amy, delays. Amy Freeze, thank you very much. Appreciate it.